We thank God for his great faithfulness. We could experience in the previous weeks as we meditated upon God's word. We could We have heard God's mind about His church. God's mind about Zion. And God's mind and thought about Zion is to bring her into that place that Zion shall be. A place of his dwelling. A place where the fullness of heaven is expressed. We thank God for all that the Lord has spoken in the past weeks unto us. God's great determination to bring His church into the full expression of the life of the Son. That's what Zion would, in other words, mean to us. <coughs> And there's a great need for us to understand this word by the help of the Holy Spirit. And I would come to that little more specifically later on. But I would like to say that right at the beginning. May we therefore hear the word of God by the Spirit, then our, then by our natural faculties. And that's why the Lord also said in the Gospels, and we also read in the book of Revelation, wherein the Lord said to the churches, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. So let's not take that word of God lightly. We heard that ascendancy into the fullness or coming into the fullness in Christ Jesus Coming into that full purpose of God, we need faith in our lives. God has been speaking about the great need to move on from the realm of the earthly, the natural, into the realm of the heavenly. We heard many wonderful and precious thoughts from God's word. God has made known His mind and will to His church, to His remnant in these times. Coming back specifically, we heard faith brings us into oneness with God's purpose. Let me just take you to the book of Hebrews, chapter 11 and verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. We saw very clearly the great struggle the New Testament believers had Especially the Hebrew believers. And how the apostle wrote that letter to the Hebrew believers. The Hebrew church. Their great need to have faith. To move on into that great salvation. 
And it is in this connection we see chapter 11 and verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We heard many thoughts from this scripture portion. I would like to bring us to these thoughts. Faith brings us into oneness with God's purpose. Faith brings us into oneness with God's method. Method of separation through the cross. From the world, from the self. The natural man. Faith brings us into oneness with God's means. Which is the Holy Spirit working in us. We heard the faith brings us in oneness with God's time. God's time. So we see faith is very, very important as we live in these end times. Many preachers are preaching a faith which is only meant for material things in life. Faith for just healings. Faith for blessings. So there is a teaching on faith which is distorted. While the book of Hebrews chapter 11 says, by faith they pleased God. But without faith it is impossible to please God. And all these men in the book of Hebrews, they had a testimony and that was, they pleased God. But today faith is pleasing themselves. Faith by faith they obeyed God, did God's will. By faith they died in, in obedience to God. There's no time for me to dwell on there. I must move on today. But I would like to underline this to all my brothers and sisters. Please take heed to God's word. Faith is something that we must develop and grow into in our lives. As we heard, faith grows with use. And so we must in our lives and God will provide many opportunities in our lives. We heard that a couple of weeks back. We also heard about God's time, the travail that God's people went through, whether it was Abraham, whether it was Noah, whether it was other men and women of God, in the Bible or in the history, they all went through terrible times of testing, waiting for God's time, wasn't easy in anyone's life. So we heard last week also that when the fullness of time came, God sent forth His Son. Oneness with God's divine time is so important and for that we need faith. We saw this very clearly again the last week from the book of Luke chapter 2 from the life of Simeon and the company of saints the God had prepared at a time when everything was so contrary, so much negative. Nonetheless, that was God's time to bring forth His Son. 
So the first coming of the Lord, as we read in the book of Galatians, in the appointed time, God sent forth His And we heard many things. We heard very clearly that things were all contrary. And yet these people were waiting in faith. The situation may be hopeless. The way of God's chosen people, His church, His bride, is people who have to do with the fullness of Christ. It's going to be a way of great difficulty. It's going to be a way of perplexity. It will be a way of anguish of great pressure and that time of seeming complications often time telling us that it is not possible you know this is the path even this small remnant of people also went through their times. And I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, when we look at majority today, they have their way. They have their easy path. That broad way where everything goes well. But if you want to be part of God's purpose, if you want to be part of God's true bride, if your desire is that you want to be part of God's highest, it comes with a price tag. It doesn't come the easy way. I want to share this with us. I've seen many coming with such a joy when they hear this truth about the fullness of Christ. The body of Christ. The glorious church, the overcomers, who will reign and rule with Christ. But when it came to paying a price, when he walked away from this call, and therefore I want to say it is not a human enthusiasm that will take you to the end. We need to trust and put our faith in the one who has saved you and called you according to his purpose. Let this not be a doctrine. And let it not be a mere truth that we appreciate, we knock down. But let it become a light under our path. And as I said, even in those most negative times, God did have a remnant. There was evidently a company of them in Jerusalem. Doubtless it was comparatively a small company, very small, but there they were. And I want to say this, and so it shall be in these end times. 
There was a company then waiting, praying, standing for the fullness of the Lord. And so it shall be in this end time. I want to encourage you. As we heard, the Lord raises up a corporate testimony to represent and bring in his greater fullness and what is true of the individual will be true of the company of people as well. We heard they go through strange unusual ways of testing. Unusual ways of perplexity, of adversity, of strain. And often it seems to be impossible to go this way. And therefore, when we see the path so hard and difficult, it's an assurance that you are in the right way. And therefore, as we heard, Simeon could have gone through much strain in himself. As we heard, he would have thought whether he was even deceived. He would have thought if he is ever holding on to an illusion, did I, did I really hear God? Nothing seemed to be happening. No development of things. I am getting older day by day. The promises of God do not seem to be fulfilled. Looks like it would never come to realization. And as we heard, Simeon came under a Terrible assault of his own mind. Like many other men of God have gone through in their own lives. See, when we are moving on to something precious in the Lord, these assaults will come. As we heard, the faith of Simeon and the remnant of God in those times would have stretched to the maximum. Stretched and stretched. As we heard, God's ways are hidden ways. There was no sign of anything. But the scriptures in the fullness of time, God sent for this. And so God is dealing with his chosen people. God is dealing with his remnants. God is dealing with you and me, my brothers and sisters. Be it personal or be it corporate. That is God's will. If you are desiring for God's fullest in these times in your life. So let's remember that the unusual dealings of God, the unusual interest of the powers of evil, These are the two things you will find. The unusual dealings of God in one's life. And the unusual interest of the powers of darkness or evil. Doing all these powers can do to frustrate that purpose of God. But God's dealings are to fulfill the purpose. The unusual interest of the enemy. Is to frustrate the purpose of the Lord. Is to frustrate the purpose of God. Is to frustrate the purpose of God. Is to frustrate the purpose of God. 
That we are living in a time again. Everyone is looking for an easy path. Instead of going through the way of trials and testings and and be part of the travail of God. As we heard, God brings us into oneness with His own travail. Oneness with His own sorrow. As Paul said in Colossians 1.24 we saw. He says, fulfilling or filling up that which is lacking in the sufferings of Christ. As we heard, we must all face that in our lives. There's a travail. If you are going to be part of that great work of God in these end times, bringing forth of the full expression of the Son, waiting for that time, for God's time to fulfill that, we will go through this great travail we heard. It's not going to be easy times. Let me underline that. And as we heard, there is a romance of the Christian world. Christian world. There's so much of glamour there, all kinds of enthusiasm. In that realm of the organized Christianity which we see around. And we heard very clearly, I'd like to underline. Uh, Remember, it is not what we are before men that counts, but what we are before God in the secret place, having a hard concern for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I ask this question and I would like to ask this again today. You may think it's a reputation, but I believe that Spirit is bringing these things to us again. Have you a burden? Have you a passion within your own heart? Is that nothing to you? When the testimony of the Lord is brought down into the desk, I shared during the week on the life of Hudson Taylor and I would like to share that this morning. This is what he says. When God raises up a man for spiritual Service. He first works on that man the principles which later on are to be the means of 
widespread blessing to the church and to the world through his labors and influence. He says, we have too many celebrities and not enough servants. And the wonders that may flash across the scene for a time and disappear. Before God works through us, He works in us. Because the work that we do is the outgrowth of the life that we live. And I'm very much humbled when I read these words, these, these sentences of this man. Before God works through us, He works in us. Because the work that we do is the outgrowth of the life that we live. Today we have, if how true it is, today we have too many celebrities in our pulpits and in our churches. They come like great performers. They imitate the Bollywoods and the Hollywoods. They come to the pulpit with their iPads. They come to the pulpit with their tabs. They run around, run around all over the place. As I heard yesterday, I saw the posting one had put up in our group. The Bible is a holy Bible. But your iPhone is not a holy iPhone. Neither are your tabs and in your, in your iPads. How touching that is. We thank God for technology. We thank God for many things which are available. But those things cannot substitute God and His work in us. How this man of God, Hudson Taylor, could see. He writes about his own times. These are things to be pondered over. These are not mere messages. This is the voice of God. Coming to us in these perilous times, brothers and sisters. And many sincere people. <laughs> are picked up like flies by the enemy in these end times through these means and ways people think it's harmless but waste times and i want to encourage all of us young and old alike we need to be in that place as we heard. Do you have that passion? Do you have that burden? When the name of the Lord is pulled down to the dust and ashes. To the earthly realm today. By great preachers. Who are able to pack thousands of people in their auditorium. In their auditorium, aduga phangli ba khudong chawa sing adu dami lising lising kayak tilan bangamba tilaliba adu mbasinga. 
Oh, may God help us. And this is what Hudson Taylor as so many people who appreciate Hudson Taylor. But these are the words of this man. Jesus spent 30 years preparing for a ministry of three and a half years. The man of God says the statement may become a cliche but it is still true that God prepares us for what he is preparing for us. I repeat that God prepares us for what he is preparing for us. The word cliche when I refer to the Dictionary, it means a phrase or opinion that is overused and betrays a lack of original thought. That's the meaning of the word In other words, that Jesus spent 30 years preparing for three years of ministry, that statement may have become a cliche, a phrase. But he said, it is still true, though it has lost its original. By people using it so often. But he says, but that is still true for the people. Well, some have lost the meaning of it. You know, how much, how many terms and terminology have lost the original? Become a cliche. A phrase and an opinion. That is overused. It could be the name overcomer. It could be the word the bride. It could be the word the local church. 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 the in Christ Jesus. As we heard, we shall not get anywhere in terms of that travail. Now we have to If we have not been worked upon by the Holy Spirit, we shall not get anywhere. We shall not get We turn to the book of Luke, chapter two. And I'm just reading verse 26. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost. We heard this. I mentioned this also on Wednesday. In our, I mean, uh, Zoom meeting. It was revealed to him by the Holy Spirit. Now we turn to the book of Luke. The question is that has this travail has this truth entered into us by the Holy Spirit? Has it come into me by the Holy Spirit?
That's one thing that each one of us. Now, many of us can just presume things. Mi ayam ba magna ay wakal na dumbap na sabay ay masi oigani ay na masi oiri ay na kan madi ay. Have we come into that by the Holy Spirit? Is that faith within? Because the Spirit of the Son is. Sonship is working in us. Bringing us into the oneness with God's time. To prevail is sorrow. And as we heard last week, we need to pray, Lord, bring me to that place. Holy Spirit, bring me to that place. And I want to encourage you today with a word. And let me start here again in saying we shall get through to the end in no other way than the way of faith. We shall get through to the end in no other way than the way we shall get through to the end in no other way than the way of faith. We need to settle this now. And let me bring a few words to establish us, to strengthen us in this. The more spiritual we become, <laughs> Or the more fervent you become, your more fervent you are with the Lord and God's purpose in your life, the more fervent you are with God's ways, the more focused you are. Remember the more and the more intense will be the battle of faith. Please understand this, my brothers If you are having an easy life, easy going, you ask the Lord, you get it, you ask the Lord, that he is blessing, and you have no battle. I want to tell you, you may be far away from that which God has designed for you. The more fierce and intensely real will be the battle of faith. Please understand this. And I share this in small measures that I have experienced myself. And it may sound strange. We may think that it should be the other way around. The more closer I am to the Lord, the more focused I am on the Lord and His purpose, the way must be much easier. But it is not so. Dear brothers and sisters, 
It has never been so. Look at the history. Look at the life of the Lord Himself. Look at the heroes of faith. Look at the men and women of God in the history of the church. So saints of God, I know that I heard the testimony from some of us, even the local church in Delhi. Delhi Saki testimony in the From the time they became part of this call and this purpose of God, part of this local church, they began to face difficulties, situations in their lives. It's a reality. The fact is that the more you get outside of that which is tangible, the more you get outside of that which is seen, the more you get outside of that can be that which can be grasped by and touched by. Your natural senses. You go outside of that realm. And you begin to focus on the Lord. You begin to focus on that which is spiritual. You begin to touch upon that which is heavenly. You begin to touch upon that which is unseen. Touch upon that which is God's purpose. The more you come in touch with those naked forces of darkness, the more you come across the naked powers. Of the evil one. And they have one object. That is the distraction. Of that faith in God's people. The people. That is why Jesus said in that, ex in that parable, after quoting the parable, in Luke chapter 18, verse 8, we have seen that umpteen number of times. How be it when the Son of Man cometh, will he find the faith on the earth? When God's remnant people, will focus on the things of God. And they will get outside of that which is tangible, visible, seen, that can be touched and grasped by the natural senses. When they begin to focus on that which is heavenly, eternal, spiritual, those powers of darkness, Naked forces of the enemy with the supreme object to destroy the faith of his people will be a great reality. No wonder Jesus said, When the Son of Man comes I want to make a clear declaration today. Well, the enemy concentrates on faith of God's people. I could see 
several of my young brothers and sisters been tried ai gi chena nau kaya marum changyeng tawduna leibase aina uba phange changyeng nangaga leibase i have been in touch with some of them aina mafoi kharaga di wari sanna duna lei i want to say to all of you aina koi kudin pona makta hai chani well the enemy concentrates on your faith na bana na koi gi thaja bada ma puning changa ga leibani na koi gi ishor da leiba thaja bado I like to bring another scripture to us. Luke chapter twenty-two, and verse thirty-one. Padana kuntra matoi da. Luke chapter twenty-two, verse thirty-one. And the Lord said, Simon, 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 behold, Satan had desired to have you. Yengu Satan na nahak po. That he may sift you as wheat. Yehu gum na nik na na ba or hum na na ba nahak po nire. But the sentence doesn't end there. Adu bud ma pa ma sida loi dri ba. It is but I have prayed for thee. Ma na hai ai na na hak ki da mak hai ja kre. But I have prayed for thee. Ai na hak ki da mak ta hai ja re. That thy faith fail not. Na ki tha ja ba aset mang ki da na na ba in hai ja re hai na. But I have prayed for thee. Ai na nang ki da ma hai ja re. That your faith fail not. Ma du di nang ki tha ja ba aset han tha da na na ba or mang ki da na na ba. So you see What the object of Satan is? Adu ko dia bol ki ma puning ki apam adu kari no hai ba ko ni sida ubo phangi. Satan had desired to have the. Dia bol na na hak po mighty ba pining li, or that he may sift the as wheat. Hai bdi na hak po. Na hak po thiri niri nang bo gehu ko na 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 ba nik na na ba adu ba ina nang ki ba ta. So the very nang ki thaja ba hanta da na ba hai jare. Adu bo madu gi adu gi nik pagi pandam adu ti nik pagi. The very object of that trial. Adu gi sangyeng adu gi pandam sangyeng adu gi madu gi tauri bodo kari gi no hare gadi. The object of that suffering. Ai awa anang adu gi ma ki pot adu kari no. Madu di thaja ba bu nik pa du ni thaja ba bu lothok ki ba mang han ki ba du ni. Your trust in God. Nang ne so bu thaja ri ba do adu da. adu bu manghan gina na ba your trust in that which is revealed to you nangona phongdok pi khraba as to his will as we heard ki aning ba oina nangona phongdok pi khraba adu o may god help us brothers maramadu nei chona tengbang bi boisa noi khoi boisi ni nau sing in the midst of a compromising christianity kamprom aidi yasena ba christian singa si gi marakta in the midst of Believing churches. Asum ba thaja ba mi sing thaja ba singlup ki marakta. Searching for an easy path. Aay galambi thire ba mi singlup singa si ki marakta. One who have the both the world and the things of God. Aay di taibangi o basu pamba iswagi o basu pamba singlup singa si ki marakta. Talk so much about faith for material gain and prosperity. And that's what we're talking about. 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 God will have a remnant. Sure, no matter how many of you can look like that, Dori. God will have a bridal company. Adu umba kai na ki kang look like that, Dori. Sure. Who have this hope? Sigi asasi lay re harga. Lay ba miyo sing. And purify them. Masa na masa bu sing doksa ba. Christa na sing ba gum na masa na masa bu sing doksa ba. Do ma miyo kang doksa kai na gina kang doksa lay doori pani. Hoi ay koi bu sing dok pi do na lay ri. Mai sing da. Awa anang gi mai sing da koi bu sing dok pi ri pani. For the testing of their faith is as precious as gold. Maram di ma koi bu sing yeng to ma koi gi sing yeng ado sana gum na. Lupa gum na mamal yam bani, makogi sangyeng ado, sana lupa gum na mamal yam. Ado na diabol gi mapuning gi apam badi, nanggi thaja bado, ado da magi mapuning gi apam bado, madu bulog thok bado ni. The object of Satan's sifting is thy faith. Diabol gi nik liba man at tawrak ado iba nik pagi thabak ado gi apam bado di karin ay bago nanggi thaja bado ado bani. Now let's see the other side. Nanggi thaja bado bulog thok bado ni. Ato panakal si Yeshua. Self 
He was a man of all self Peter si kanano hari gadi masa na masa de am thaze ba thamba mi ni. He was a man of all self assurance. Masa na soira roy hai na bi am na masa da thaze ba thamba adu umba mi ni. What we read in Matthew 26. Madhu ai koi na Matthew ki kuntarukta paapo fangani. Matthew 26. Matthew ki kuntarukta. Matthew 26. 꿈ดูเอ็ดพีเตอร์เอ็นเซลินเซลันดูเฮมดูโอลเมนชัลบีออฟเฟนเดดบีคัสออฟดีมาดูดาพีเตอร์นะมังวันดาไฮซีนะ
I know the despair that Peter was. Peter was in great despair. Now remember the Lord told him about it. Before it happened. We saw it from the scripture. You know, in the original text, this is how it would it be in the original. Satan had secured Peter by asking and he had obtained his request. Satan had secured Peter by asking and he had obtained his request. And therefore, the Lord was not saying, Satan has asked to have you, but he is not going to have you. But he has got you to sift you as wheat. That's all. But I have prayed for the faith. Your faith failed. Now we know that it was a terrible sifting for Peter. Peter. Now we know that it was a terrible sifting for Peter. It was in those moments when he went out and baptized the people. Now we know that it was a terrible sifting for Peter. It was in those moments when he went out and baptized the people. Now we know that it was a terrible sifting for Peter. He was overwhelmed. He was stunned. He was exhausted. With the consciousness of his own failure. He had denied. He had realized his great failure. He was crushed. He was broken. He said, I have denied my Lord. And he was crushed. He was crushed. He had come into that realm as we read here. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus which said unto him before the cock crew, Thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus which said unto him before the cock crew, Thou shalt deny me thrice. One's own failure and breakdown. And the Lord being disappointed. Now this was the state that Peter was. Peter na oy kibo mo ang matau kibo mado. And remember. Such is the time that Satan rises. When you have failed God, when you have denied God in some areas of your life, Satan comes in rushing. And this is where the Lord said. I pray that their faith Satan rushes up. And Satan would have whispered many things unto Peter. What is the good of you following this doctrine? What is the good of your trying now? You are told that you will deny but you are not willing to accept. 
ನನ್ನ ಜೂಯ ನಿಂಗೆ ಯು ಮೇನ್ ಬೋಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ನನ್ನ ಅಪ್ಪನ ಹೈದೋಕಿ ಬನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡೋಯಿಂಗ್ ನಾನು ತೌಕರಬಜ ಏಂಗುದನ ನನ್ನ ಅಪ್ಪನ ತೌನಾಪನ ಹೈದೋಕಿ ಬನಿ ಯು ಹೋಪಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಲೈವಗಿ ಕರಿ ಅಫಬಬು ಲೈಗಿ ಗದೋರಿ ಬನು ಕರಿ ಬುಂ ಮಖಾತಾನ ಸಾತೋ ಹಿ ಗದೋರಿ ಬನು ಆಲ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಕನ್ಫೆಷನ್ ಯು ಮೇಡ್ ಹಜಾನ ಚಾವನ ಹೈದೋಕ್ರೆ ಐದಿ ಥಾದು ಓಯ ಹೈನ ಅದು ಥಾದು ಎ ನಂ ಗಮಜು ಗಮದ್ರೆ ಕರಿ ಬು ಕಾನರ ದೋಯನು all that leader you were in the midst of the disciples all that leader you were in the of the disciples in the midst of the disciples in the midst of the disciples you would rather give up this this is the dead end for you 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 this is the This is not for you. Mangi makta natte da mashe mashe ki khongcha da se. Hai na. Blessed be God. In the hour of that pearl of faith. Adu yai phabo ishor oisanu adu umba thaje bagi. We have a word of encouragement. Adu umba thaje bagi changi ngi chaura ba mata maru da aikoi gi. That is I have thaugati bagi wahai adu lai madu di prabhu na sumna hai ai na nangi da hai jare hai basini. that your faith madu dinangi thaja bado fail not hanta danana ba mang danana ba aina nangi da mahai jare when in our siftings and trials and situations koi bu nik pa matam da changi ki matam da awana ki matam lakpa se ishorna madu koi koi khaw dr chat ya bi ya bi ri bi sure is to destroy our faith and trust in god yana ningi apam badi nangi thaja ba ishorna lai bado madu bu manghan badu ni madu bu thugai badu yakna ba diya bol gi makul ningi apam badu ni mara madu na ma na tu na mok chang silak bani when we go through those things koi na du gumba awanang sing ado mayok na ba matam da kai mo tam da ching na ba matam da adu awa ba ai di ai koi tham moi da wa ba phaw ba matam da much more when we make a mistake adu ga hen ai koi na so hen ba matam da when we fail koi na ishor da kai ma taw ba ngam da ba matam da he he comes in as we heard adu ga ai mahang na madu da sang silak pani ai koi na ta khre adu gumba ಅಮಂಬ ಪಂಗಲ್ ಪಂಗಲ್ಸಿಂಗ್ರೀರಿಯನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ಸಿದಾಗಿ great encourage ai khoi chaura ba du gumba thogor pi ba do phangi aina hai jeningi mase along with many men of god who have lived before ishogi ma ai khoi mangda ishogi ma our faith is not a matter of our own strength ai khoi thaja ba hai basi ai khoi pangal da laita bani maka chatha ba dai khoi pangal da laita bani it is a matter of adu ma ki dar ma ki hai ja badu da lai bani ma ki prabhu ki hai ja badu da da lai bani along with many men of god who have lived before us me oi kaya ai ko ma ki prabhu ki of our own strength to maintain it ai ko ki tha ja ba hai ba sidi ai ko ki pangal da lai ta bani ma ka chatha ba da ma sidi ma ki prarthana adu da da lai bani prabhu ki prarthana adu da lai bani adu ki darkar adu da lai bani ai na si ma pa ma sidi lepcha ra badi I know it's because Aina khangi masi his ma ki prarthana gi ma pana ni haibisa ina khangje the prayer that my faith may not ma ki prarthana ai ki thaja ba hanthadana na ba mang dana na ba ki da mak tawri bodo ki ma the worst situation oi asi ma ki ma sing awanang sing kaya yes kaya morum ai thena ki balai how to trust believe thaja ba da lu ba matam adu his mighty prarthana se the prayer of my sin can be ma pu gi prarthana the prayer of my lord thy faith shall not fail ma pa prarthana nangi thaja ba han thadana na bugi da ma ai na hai jare i'm not talking about your responsible living ai ri ba si dai to pu da ba ma hing pu si ma hing di ma ra da hai jare nate our faith is not a matter of our own strength ai ko gi thaja ba hai ba si ai ko gi pangal ki makha pon da bani masi chatha ba matam da ko pangal da bani adu masi di ma ki prarthana gi 
Christ in the seeding. Christ Christ in the seeding is our assurance. When we turn to the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, and verse 25, Chapter 7, verse 25. Therefore, he is also, therefore, he is able also to save them to the, to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Let me read that again. Therefore, he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. He ever liveth to make intercession for them. He ever liveth to make intercession for them. For his church. Here is Peter. Peter Satan may shake and sift Satan may be given a lot of liberty as the Lord Jesus said his desire to have it. He had secured people in his house 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 and sift Peter he had secured people in his house In the divine sovereignty of God, God allowed Satan to shake off that selfhood of Peter. All that self-confidence, all that self-assurance, all the self-fullness of Peter to destroy that self in that sin to show his self. He may be given a lot of liberty and sift God allowed Peter to go through this. To remove that self. To show him how strong his self is. Peter gi masagi obdo kay amuk chau na kan na lady bano hay do ushon upi na na bugi da magta. Peter da upi na na bugi da magta. It's only faith in me that can bring you the end. Peter, ay ngon da lady bata jab kagta na nang bu aroy ba pao bata purapi bang ang bani. Even if all will go, I will not. Nang gi masagi obdo na na te mi pung kudi mag na thado krabosu ay di thado loy hay bdo na na te. That brought that declaration. Even if all would leave me, I would be willing to die with you. It was not statements of faith. Even if all would leave me, I would be willing to die with you. It was not statements of faith. Even if all would leave me, I would be willing to die with you. It was not statements of faith. Even if all would leave me, I would be willing to die with you. It was not statements of faith. Even if all would leave me, I would be willing to die with you. It was not statements of faith. Even if all would leave me, I would be willing to die with you. It was not statements of faith. Even if all would leave me, I would be willing to die with you. It was not statements of faith. Even if all would leave me, I would be willing to die with you. It was not statements of faith. Even if all would leave me, I would be willing to die with you. It was not statements of faith. Even if all would leave me, I would be willing to die with you. It was not statements of faith. Even if all would leave me, I would be willing to die with you. It was not statements of faith. Even if all would leave me, I would be willing to die with you. It was Mahaku Purak Pikhi Hai Vase Itihas Na Hai Duna Puari Na Hai Duna Lera Bani Puari Na Madhu Hai Duna Lera Bani I have prayed for you Peter That your faith will be filled with you Madhu Di Nangi Vase Hantha Dana Na Vagita Makta The object of the enemy is your faith Yegna Vagita Pam Madhu Di Nangi Thaza Vadu Ni In our daily life In our circumstances In our situations That is his object Remember Satan is permitted to Several things in our lives Satan is permitted to Satan is permitted to Satan is permitted to 
ยาบนิมาคิมติปังกัลดะมะดุบูอิชอนนายาบีบนิดียาบอลนาเอควบูฮาริบัทธะบกสิงเอเซตอนนานะบกิดะมะเตยาบีครับบะบัตไวล์เ
and end and destruction. We begin to feel we are being brought to an end. There is no way further. In those moments, what do we have to hold on to? I have prayed for you. I have prayed for thee. Not beyond this. Not beyond this. I have prayed for thee. So far and no further, I have prayed for thee. Your faith will not fail. He ever liveth to make intercession. You know one thing. When you go through certain situations. You have only broken hearted situation. You have only tears. You have no expressions to flow out of your mouth. In a way, you are not able to pray for yourself. You are not able to pray for yourself. You are not for yourself. You are not able to pray 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 for yourself. Remember, there is one praying for you. When you are not able to pray because of the pressure, because of the situation, because of uh, the sorrow of your heart, it's too much for you to bear. I want to tell you, there is one who is praying for you when you are not able to pray. It's not an excuse not to pray, but I hope you understand what I am saying. Such an agony and sorrow because of the situation. You are not able to pray for yourself. I want to encourage you. I want to strengthen you by saying that there is one who is praying for you in those moments in your own life whose prayer will be mightier than your prayer and his prayer will prevail. And I can say I stand here because his prayer has prevailed. May God help us. When no prayer seems to be getting through, there is one whose prayer is already through. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus is living now. He is living now to make intercession. He is living now to make intercession for us, for his church. Oh, how many times, how many times we must have come through. We do not realize purely in the strength of his intercession. You know how weak your prayers were. How many times? I come through purely on the strength of His intercession. He prevails in prayer for us. He prevails in prayer for His church. 
Despite all that is happening, all the decline, departure, compromise, his intercession for his church will cause the church to prevail. He prevails in prayer. Hallelujah. He prevails in prayer for his church. When there is no prevailing by ourselves, he prevails in prayer for his church. Romans chapter 8, verse 34. It's a well known scripture. Hallelujah, Lord. Open our eyes, Lord. Who is he that condemned? Condemneth. It is Christ that died, yet rather that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also maketh intercession for us? Romans chapter 8, Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also maketh in the session for us? Who is at the right hand of God? Who also maketh in the session for us? Who is making in the session for us? I'm not reading any translations for one of the time. May God help us. He is living. To make in the session for us. You know, when we turn to the book of Hebrews, chapter 6. Hebrews, chapter 6. Verse 19. Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 19. Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that within the which way. Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul. Anchor of the soul. We have an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast. And entering into that which is within the world. There is one thing that we all need. It will be an anchor. We are going to put under terrific testing. When we are going to be put under testing and strain, there has to be some real holding power in our lives. We have to be under testing. On the rocks spiritually. When we are being rocked spiritually. Our destiny could be a ship. Our destiny could be a ship. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul refers to some. 
Paul na We read in 1 Timothy Madu Timothy da chapter 1 and verse 19 Amagi tarama panda One thing of the one nineteen. Han bati moti ki taramapan. Holding faith and a good conscience. Aza bachiya lo amasung apawa chum aran kamu 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 That's a terrible possibility. That's what. Sathi na tam thini ngai ora ba du gumba oi thok pa ya ba du. Concerning faith, they made a shipwreck. Ako gi thaja ba gi matang da hi kai kre hai bani. So Paul says it's a possibility. Paul hai masi oi thok pa ya masi thok ra bani masi oi thok pa ya bani hai na hai bani. Mara madu na thaja ba chia lo amasung apa ba chu maran khang ba pung ning leyo hai bani. Hi, hi, Rivers Singh. As a me, Khara da thokre. So we need to know. Ado ko makhoi ki thaja bagi matang dehi kai khre. Mara madu na ko ya chum makhang madar kar. Hold on to it. Ado ko masi ay ko na thaja bada chet na pay bado dar kar. Ay ko ki nongor amal nahi madu kawbi kano. We have someone who will be able to have a hold on. Ay di ay ko ki ay ko buchet na pay bhi bangam baka na ko amal nahi. Ado ko ba. Nik pagi mata madu da. Ado ko nik thok po humdok pagi mata madu da. Waiting. Ngai bi do na. Ngai do na lai bagi matam da. It's a terrible difficult time. Asu gumba kini ngai oira ba matam adu da. Expectations are questioned. Evidences are absent. Adu gumba khuma khudam do ruat pa matam ba ek la ruat pa matam da. Khuding mak singa sem khuding mak ki mai ok ta le pa matam da. Ai nang ki da mak ta hai jari hai bani. Nangi tha ja ba do. I want to encourage you, brothers. As much as I want to encourage myself, I thank God for this word that's come into my own life. Now, I want to thank God for this word that's come into my own life. Now, I want to thank God for this word that's come into my own life. Now, I want to thank God for this word that's come into my own life. Now, I want to thank God for this word. I don't give the mahajari. He ever liveth to make me. Manu matam puna makki wai na wano bina na wai koi gida makte hingli. He prevails in prayer. Wai koi gida mahajari bivu prarthana na mahana thing bivu ni galthok bivu ni dia boli karahen bhathagup chingbo. I'd like to conclude soon. Anu na loishan zara gani? How will the church reach her goal? Karam na singlup na mahaki pantho gado yoga dori bano. The fullness of Christ. Kristegi athan gado. Only by traveling the path of faith. When the Son of Man comes, will he find faith? That's the object of the enemy. How can we come into the fullness in Christ? How will the church come into that realm? Into that destiny? Only by traveling. By moving from pressure to enlargement, from poverty to enrichment, this is the way Abraham treads. This is the pathway that other men of God travel, journeyed. This is the way Israel was called to journey Asani, to their destiny. Israel na makoy ki pantong ato sa kibdo the Old Testament ni matamda. I remember that incident in the book of Daniel. Daniel ki lahat ito kibdo tau do kamay na ning sing say. We know the three Hebrew children. Ako na Ibria ki mata. Or friends of Daniel. Daniel ki marup sing. They were told to bow down to the image. And they refused. They were thrown in the fire. And 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 they were thrown in
three people were thrown into the furnace adu manu adu da mi wa ahum adu three became four adu bahari ba ahum adu na mari wa rakhi bani hallelujah praise god and the three became four ahum adu na mari wa rakhi that is the mystery adu ni atho pado that is enlargement through pressure adu ni takshil lagpa gi ma pa na pa thok chau thok that is enlargement through pressure adi takshil lagpa gi ma pa na pa thok thok pa to maduni became four ahum maduna mari wa rakhi it's hard for the natural soul man lo bani ma se mau sa gi mi gi some would have said wakal gi matung this furnace even small for three people ni kanagu makara na hai ma se gi mainung asi di mi oi ahum gi da makta su yam na pi hai na It's a terrible furnace. It's so so small for three people. Masi di yam na kiningay or ba adu kung ba mi o hum gida magti yam na pick pa may. Remember, in the furnace, some accept their limitation. Adu ka ay na hajening madu di hariba. In the furnace, they accept. May nung madu di da makoy gi. In the trials, they accept. Makoy gi ngam da badu ba yazaki bani. It's too hard. It's difficult. Masi yam na lumale. Masi yam na lui. I cannot bear this heat. Ay na masi gi may sa si kang mong ngam di. But they accept the limitation. Adubu makoy na makoy gi pankhay adubu ngam khay adubu yazabani. They accept that 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 heat. Madu gi maysha adubu makoy na yazabani. And in accepting that heat. Madu gi maysha adubu yazabani. In accepting that limitation. Madu gi pankhay adubu yazabani matamadu. They made room for the fourth one to be with them. Makoy na marisu badu makoy gi madu dayda zada tibani. Often God's people have missed out that. Kaya da toy na ishogi misig na madu bu nanthok libano. When God's people refuse to accept, he is only missing na ya janing da ba matam da. The limitation, the situation, the hardship, the heat of the trial. Adu gi changi engi oi ba mai sha ado ma khoi ni ya jada ba matam da. They miss the fourth one. Ma khoi na mari su ba ado ma khoi na nan thok pani phang da ba. It's a hard word. It's difficult to even share with God's people. He is only missing da hai dok pa de amna lu ba wa pham ni ma se. But I would like to say, pressure brings enlargement. Adu wai nai jani ngi takshil lag par na ekhoi bo pakthok chaukthok halli. Awa anang singa si na ekhoi bo pakthok chaukthok halli. Poverty brings us into enlargement. Lai ra bana ekhoi bo Christa da ina khol halli. You are poor, but you are rich. Nang di lai ra ya du bana ina khol halli hai na smir na gi singlup ta prabhu na hai bi ki bani. And the church that was rich, the Lord said, "Adu ga ina khol halli na khan ba singlup adu da idana nang di lai ra ba ma di phi thong da bani hai ki bani." Oh may God help us. We need faith. 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 Awa awa changing the things that God will permit and allow to come into our lives. We are not to let these trials and difficulties shut us from God. Ani ya biri ba awa awa changing the way things that is hard to get through. Things that but we hello ida bani. But to let those trials, situations. Difficulties shut us in with him or to him. Adu bahari ba chang yeng sing amadi aru ba sing adu na ay koi ba mahakaloy na na lonsin min naraga pun na le min han gada bani. But let those difficulties, trials, sufferings which we do not even understand shut us in to him. Adu bo or shut us in with him adu bo hari baru ba sing adu nai koi bo maha ka lonsin min naraga maha ka punna lai min han ga da bani hari ba we shut in with him in our situations ai koi gi ori ba phiba madu dai da maha ka loina lonsin min na buduna maha kuma panda thingjal laga thong lo laga tham madu da gi he na phaba hen gani sona teng bang bi bo isa no ichina nau sing this is words of life these are words of life ma pun si gi wa hai adu ni Oh, where can we go, Lord? I go in a carriage. I shall go in a prabhu. Nang wanda lom nai dabu ki punchi le lai raga. Masi I go in a masi ki punch. Masi wahi chetu punchi. 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 Masi wah
into that fullness. This is the way of enlargement of growth into that fullness. And let me say these few words before I close. Let me say these few words before I close. Some through pressure reach God's end. Some through pressure reach God's end. Some through pressure Some of God's children, they reach God's end through pressure, through trials and situations, difficulties. They reach God's end through failure. Only by traveling the pathway of faith. We will reach the end. Through pressures of situations, circumstances, trials. Pain and sorrow. Our children the rich. They end. But some of them. But some of them. They end. 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 But some of them. But some of them. They end. 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 But some of them. And trials and situations. While some of God's children, through pressures and trials and sufferings and pains, come to the end in God and God's purpose, some of them come to an end in themselves. When they face trials and situations. Oh, let that not happen with any one of us. I've seen that happening. That they have no faith. They did not believe that someone is praying for them. That their faith would not fail. They didn't believe that they have an encourage. And therefore, and therefore, in trials and pains and situations, the enemy went beyond and destroyed their faith. And the trial and temptation situations, it became inevitable. They didn't come to God's aid. They came to the end. And the trials and temptation situations, it became Jesus said, "Straight is the gate, and narrow is the path." Thong ado chapting ba ado ni ado ka lambi ado akhu ba ado ni lambi ado khui hai na. Ni karna shire. In the straightness. Ado ki chapting ba ado da. Ado umba akhu ba ado oi khuman ba ado da shire. Lambi ala ado khuman ba na amadi chapting ba na ni karna di shire. They die. In the straightness and the narrowness. Difficulties. Trials. But others. Of life in Christ. In the straightness and the narrowness of the path. Oh may God help you be part of those. Who walk in the straightness and the narrowness of the path. Who walk in the straightness and the narrowness of the path. Maduki, aku belambi atau kita semua boleh jalan apa kita mak ta? Aduh, ating bah aduh dah lakshya hariya. Maduki Kristus dah layak wang balai mai aduh kita pak tok cok tok pagi. Oh, aduh dah itu lakshya boleh ngam dengan apa kita mak ta? Some murmur. Ni oleh kerana murum murum suandu na. When trials and suffering and testing is before, aku imang dah layak ibat do ubu matam da. Finding trials to be always. A restraining thing. Something a limiting them. Oh, 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 oh Always cried about the restraints, the limitations. Suffering came into the depths. But the Lord did not even visit. How were on the other side? 
ไปทางเสวกิมาปานนะพาธเวย์ทูเดลิเวอเรนซ์กรุ๊ปอะดุมบะกันบีบะกิโอยบะจอกขัดปะกิโอยบะอะทันบะกิโอยบะโดพังจ
faith. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, may God help us. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. He ever liveth to make an intercession. He ever liveth to make intercession. I have prayed that your faith fail not. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. You have an assuring word from God today. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, as we saw, accept the limitation. Accept the restraints. Accept those trials. And let that become a place of enlargement and growth, the pathway of faith from pressure to enlargement to growth to fullness in Christ. Make room for the fourth one. Be shut in with him, then shut him out of your situation. Hallelujah. Let pressures and situations bring us to the end in God rather than situations, pressures bring us to an end in ourselves. Come to shipwreck in their faith life. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness, O oh God. Your faithfulness, O oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. Your prayer for your church. Your prevailing prayer will cause your church to prevail, O oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. You have a remnant people. You have a remnant church. You have that few, Lord, who have not bowed to the image, who have not given into the music. Whose hearts are set upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I know if I stand here today, it's because of your prayer. Your prayer has prevailed, O oh God. The enemy could not go beyond that measure. Because your prayer prevail. Lord, that is true of many of your children who are listening to your word today. There are times where we could not even pray, Lord. Such were situations. No answer to anybody. Could not answer anyone. There was no answer to even ourselves. Nothing but heaven and prayer. But it appeared even heavens are shut. But thank you Lord. For the assurance. Lord write upon the hearts of ours. By the finger of thy spirit. That we have an anchor. We have an anchorage. Within the veil. 
whose prayer will prevail. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for this great realization. My faith depends upon your prayer and you are ever living to make intercession. Lord, in circumstances, situations, my faith in you will increase, O God, therefore. Yes, Lord. You are working to empty this self of all its dominance, assurances, confidences. Oh God, you are working. You are working, oh God. You are working. You are working there, Lord Jesus. And you will bring your church to that realm and place. Thank you for this encouraging word. Lord, this uplifting word. Hallelujah. The, the faith of your remnant church will not fail because your prayer will prevail over every power of darkness, the naked activities and oppression of the enemy. And there you will have a remnant at the end to bring through usher in the kingdom that will precipitate things upon this earth. Yes, sir. God. You will work it out, Lord. Not we, but you. You will. Yes, sir. God. So we commit everything into thy hands. Thank you, Father, for this word. Thank you for this encouraging word to my own life, to my own heart, O oh God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. You will bring your church to that place of enlargement, to that place of fullness. And he that is to come will come will not tarry. Heavens will hold him until then, until all that is spoken by the holy prophets are fulfilled. Thank you, Lord. Your intercession will come to an end. Yes, until then, you are there and your church will come to that place. Give you all the glory, give you all the praise, O Master. Lord Jesus, the head of the church, We bless you with all our hearts. Continue to speak to us, Lord. Holy Spirit, continue to minister to our spiritual man that we may be able to say it was revealed to us by the Holy Spirit. Yes, O God. Come in all my brothers and sisters. Come in each one of us. Thank you, Father. Give you the glory. Give you the praise. Jesus' most precious and matchless name we pray. Amen.